It kills climbers every year and meant that Chris Hemsworth had to be evacuated from the Himalayas. Altitude sickness happens when we go high. Not high like this, but high in terms of altitude. The symptoms of altitude sickness can be relatively mild, like headaches, nausea, shortness of breath, but they can progress to fluid buildup in the lungs and swelling of the brain and even death. So why does altitude sickness happen? As we increase in altitude, the air literally gets thinner, meaning that there are less oxygen particles around for us to breathe in. If we take sea level as a baseline, some ski resorts are around 3,000 metres up, meaning that there's 30% less oxygen available in the air. And at the top of Mount Everest, the world's highest point at around 8,800 metres, there is 70% less oxygen available in the air. And this isn't ideal for your body. It needs to make some adjustments. And if we go too high too fast, or too high full stop, then that's what